Good day, students. I am Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For today's video, we will be discussing one-sided limits. But before we proceed to that topic, I want you guys to watch the video on finding the limit using table of values and graphically. The links are in the description. In the previous videos, we've been finding the limit by looking at the values on both sides as x is approaching. For one-sided limits, we will look into the limit from each side separately. It is important to note the part that distinguishes one-sided limits when written in symbols. This is the negative and the positive signs above the number A. A negative sign above the number A indicates the left-hand limit, while a positive sign indicates the right-hand limit. One-sided limits are mostly used to find the limit of piecewise defined functions. This expression means that the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is l. This indicates that if you use x values that are less than number a, but close to a, the corresponding outputs will get close to the number l. This expression means that the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is l. This indicates that if you use x values that are greater than number a, but close to a, the corresponding outputs will get close to the number l. To further explain this, let's have a few examples. Now, let's have example number one. For example number one, let's find the left-hand limit and right-hand limit of the function 4 minus 2x if x is less than 1, and x squared minus 1 if x is greater than 1. First. Let's find the limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the left. Since this is the left-hand limit, we will be using x values shared less than 1. And evaluating the function using these values, we can see that the left-hand limit of the function is equal to 2. Now, for the right-hand limit of the function, we will be using x values shared greater than 1. And evaluating the function using these values, we can say that the right-hand limit of the function is 0. Now, let's try graphing the function. As we trace along the graph towards x is equal to 1 from the left, we can see that it approaches 2. On the other hand, as we trace along the graph towards x is equal to 1 from the right, we can see that it approaches 0. Let's try another example. Now, let's compute for the left-hand and right-hand limit of the function x minus 2 quantity squared if x is less than 2 and 2x minus 5 if x is greater than 2. First, we compute for the left-hand limit of the function. To compute for the left-hand limit of the function, we assign x values which are less than 2. These numbers are 1, 1 1.5, 1.9, and 1.99. Evaluating the function using these values, we can see that f of x approaches 0. Therefore, the left-hand limit of the function is 0. To compute for the right-hand limit of the function, we assign x values which are greater than 2. These numbers are 2.01, 2.1, 2.5, and 3. Evaluating the function using these values, we can say that f of x approaches negative 1. Therefore, the right-hand limit of the function is negative 1. I want you guys to pause the video and try the following examples. The answer to the given problems are... And that's it. That is how you find one-sided limit. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. See you on our next video.